What's up my fellow vapers? We are back this time with a device from Evolve Vapor called the Cricket. This has been one of my new devices in my arsenal that has absolutely been killing it. This thing is top notch. So what is it? It looks like a typical box mod, but actually this wonderful device is for concentrates. Before we deep dive too much into all the awesome things about the Cricut, let's go ahead and just go over the different parts. Start at the top of the device, you have the lid. And inside the lid, you have this silicone gasket and a glass chimney. This is one of the few things on the Cricut that you'll have to clean. You'll just uh, lift up this tab on the silicone, pull this gasket out, grab this little glass chimney out of there. If you overload the Cricut or inhale too hard, we'll sometimes get concentrates up in here. But if you treat the Cricut like it wants to be treated, you really shouldn't run into that problem too much. So to get this glass chimney back in there, you're gonna do tab side up towards you. And uh, I put the silicone on like this and slide the whole thing down into the lid like that. And then very gently seat this silicone around and make sure that the mouth piece is all the way seated in there and you want to make sure that the the gasket is all the way pressed down or else the uh, magnetic sensing feature of the cap won't work properly so just make sure that that's all the way pushed into there now that I've shown you the inside of the cap, the outside of the cap just has these air inlets. They are, for the most part, just the way they are. They don't close in at all, so the airflow is fixed. However, I'll show you a little trick when I hit this, what I do with the air holes. You have this bucket in here, which is a grade 9 titanium stamped uh, bucket. It is removable by these two Allen keys here. And it is completely replaceable. Cricut does sell replacement buckets for $20. If for some reason after a bunch of use you need to replace this, you can. Or if you have really dirty material, it is easy to get a replacement for this. I can say I've probably put north of 100 dabs through this so far and it really hasn't needed to be replaced. I might just get a replacement to see if there's been any improvements, but for right now, it's just good to know that if something does happen to this, it can be replaced. And when you replace it, I'll show you how, but it can be calibrated to the new bucket that you get. So when you do get a new bucket, you're gonna wanna make sure to calibrate that. Now that I have the bucket out, you can lift this silicone out and just peel it out all of the way. I've noticed that after about, oh, I don't know, 50 or so dabs there was just the slightest bit of uh, reclaim in there however i've really been pushing this device to the limits and overfilling it is a thing if you avoid overfilling it and really just use this device with small dabs you don't have to worry about that if you're willing to sacrifice some level of cleaning to just load this thing full of dabs that's definitely a possibility as well so the titanium bucket just sits right on there it lines up with those four little holes put these contact screws back in and this is another thing where if you take this silicone out or you replace the bucket you want to make sure that th everything is cinched down because underneath here are two little magnets as you can see there's a magnet there which is how the the lid is able to register or censored on to the device you have your minus and plus buttons and your main fire button also your your lock button like most typical battery devices there is a five button lock on this then over here USB-C charging which is actually quite fast and the battery life on this is really good you're getting a bunch of hits off of it before needing to charge the battery then the last little part of the device is down here which is the tool and dab puck compartment you just put your thumb on it and uh, use your nail to kind of just drag this out and they give you this cool little tool a couple notes about this little tool here one is the proper size of the dab that they recommend is a bb and that is actually the size of this the head of this tool here the tool is magnetic it does come off so you can use this little silicone bucket here so if you're out and about or going somewhere where you really need to be stealth you can put your concentrate in here and use this to scoop it out 
personally, because I use a lot of uh, live rosin, I don't use this little bucket. And when I do use the tool, make sure that it is very clean before putting it back in, in the hole here, because if it's dirty and it gets a little melted in there, the tool can for sure unmagnet and get stuck in there. If it does get stuck in there, it is quite easy to get out. You can just pull this little cap off and give it a hit like a ketchup bottle and it tends to pop out. As far as parts go, that's it. So now let's talk a little bit about use. Why would I need a Cricut? And what role does this play in my collection? This to me is the ultimate stealth device. If you need to medically dose on the low key at a bar or a club or just anywhere out and about, this is really the way that I have been leaning recently. As a lot of you know, I do own a proxy and in my unboxing video, I mentioned if this was actually a proxy killer. Well, yes and also no. It definitely has changed my use case scenario of the proxy, but I still do use my proxy. But now my proxy pretty much just lives at home when I'm too lazy to use my quartz or I want something to use when I'm outside working on a project. The Cricut has been my go-to out of the house device because of how fast and efficient this device is. One of the other really great things I love about the Cricut, it is made here in the US in Ohio and really well built. The exterior is stainless steel and everything about this, whether it's the build quality to just the materials they used in the build, everything feels really solid about this device. It's actually very weighty and feels great in the hands, which makes me feel like this is a device that will last a really long time. And in the pocket, it's very thin and feels great, which is another Another reason why this is really taking the place for my on the go device over my proxy. Now let's go ahead and use it. So to use this device, it's it's quite simple. You're going to hit the five button lock, one, two, three, four, five, and that will unlock the device. If you notice, it has a main temperature that pops up. This is going to be your use temperature. There's a battery indicator here on the left hand side and your plus and minus will adjust the temperature that you're going to take your dab. When I first got the device, I was running around 450 and 460, which is pretty good. It was a little spicy, but it was really nice for live rosin. I do know people using this upwards in the 500 range if you really want those smack to the face concentrate hits. Once you decide what temperature you want to hit your dab at, what you're going to do is pop the cap off. And if you notice here now, it says cap off with a different temperature. This is your melt temperature. Basically, the workflow of this device is you're going to remove your cap. You're going to put your dab inside. You're going to lightly pulse the button or hold the button just a little bit to get your dab to melt down into the center of the bucket. The goal here is to have the pool centralized in the bottom. Then once your dab is melted in the bottom, you're going to cap up, push and hold the button and it'll say ready, and then that's when you start inhaling. So a note about inhaling, this is going to be a very soft, gentle inhale. Really the lightest of light inhale. This is not something that you wanna inhale really hard on because what will happen is that the dab will travel up into the chimney and we wanna avoid doing that. A very gentle inhale will produce massive clouds with this device. The other thing is when you are hitting it, you are gonna to wanna to hold it as straight up and down as possible. Maybe even do a little bit of a rocking situation as you hit it to get those dabs to sit in the bottom of the bucket as much as possible. Before we give this a go, I'm going to show you one other little hint here, and that's with your cap on, you're going to push and hold the plus button and the fire button at the same time, and it will say hold for heat up time. And if you keep holding, it'll say heat up time and give you a second count. And you can adjust that between zero to five seconds. Now, what this does is basically when you put your dab in there and you're gonna heat up to this 430 degrees, instead of just a light switch going from zero to 430, what it's gonna do is it's gonna slowly increase the temperature up. Now that really helps for cooking the dab properly. So for me, I always have my heat up time at five seconds, which is the maximum amount of time. The other little Easter egg here is if you push and hold both the plus and minus button, it'll say hold for calibrate. And if if you keep holding, it will then run a calibration sequence on your bucket to make sure that the device temperature is accurate to the atomizer that's inside. Now that we've talked about all the use, let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and use the little tool here. 
scoop up just about a BB sized amount of concentrate, pop the cap off and just gently scrape the concentrate off of the tool using the side of the bucket so it sits as central as possible. Then with my cap off, it does have the cap off temperature. So I'm going to pulse the button a couple times just to get that all that concentrate to melt into the bottom. And then once you have a nice pool going in the bottom, throw the lid on, it'll change to your device use temperature and we're going to go ahead and use the device. All right. Wow, what a smooth hit. Definitely way better than any set any 510 cart out on the market. Let's go ahead and take a look now that we've taken our hit. So, there it is. I did fill that just a little on the high side so you can see that some of it did crawl to the top, but that's okay. Sometimes I sacrifice having to clean this a little more just to really load this up with concentrate. That can probably go for another run. So since it's already melted, we can just go ahead, push the button, let it get ready, and give it another go. Another really great tasty hit. Once you're all done, I usually just clean it all out while it's hot. But if you're out on the go, I know this can be a little inconvenient. So. You can just clean it about once a day when you get home, but when I can, I go ahead and just swab it out because it really is just an easy process when it's warm. And just like that, the Cricut is done and ready for my next go. Sometimes I will just take a turp wipe, just or gently wipe that out, take the turp wipe and use the tool to just kind of wash out the bucket real good. And then the other thing this does is it also cleans my tool at the same time. So when I put it back inside the device, I'm not too worried about it getting stuck. Again, you don't have to do that every time. I do like to because it keeps my device really nice and clean. If you don't, I do suggest just keeping an eye on the reclaim that happens around here. Don't let it get too bad. If you keep on top of this device, it stays really clean for a long time. When I'm hitting it, sometimes what I'll do is I will cover the back holes with my finger to increase my airflow. To increase my inhale speed, I will restrict down the device to just change my experience and get a little bit thicker clouds out of the Cricut. Well, to recap, the Cricut, it's got amazing flavor, really, really nice stuff. The other really cool thing about the Cricut is that this company is really known for their uh, chips inside of devices like that. So one of the coolest things is that the customization that comes with the Cricut can happen in different themes that will have different battery meters and or you also will have the ability to firmware update this object. So when they come up with improvements on battery life or just other little fixes for any problems, it can be updated to fix that stuff. I'm going to be doing another video on how to firmware update the Cricut, so stay tuned for more Cricut content because this is definitely a device I'm keeping in my arsenal. Well, that about wraps it up for the Cricut. Thanks for watching. If you want an on the go stealth device that has mega clouds and really good flavor, the Cricut is the way to go. Built in the US, made to last, and as always, stay lifted. <laughs>what's up everybody welcome to the 1k giveaway i want to say thank you uh, one more time to all of you for making this such an awesome experience and to give back to you guys for watching we're gonna give these away starting with this dynavap b drum roll please And it looks like Firehead MX wins a Dynavap B. And his comment was video suggestion, M plus versus B tip comparison. That's a good suggestion. Thanks for entering the contest. Next up, we have a Simril Scoopy Scoop. 
Ooh, shiny. Made out of machined aluminum. Super lightweight. Let's hit start. Drum roll, please. Chaotic. Woo! Chaotic says, 1,000. That is fantastic. Keep up the amazing reviews. I have learned a lot watching your videos and reviews. Wow, man. Thank you so much. That means a lot. It's comments like that that really keep me going and make these videos fun for me to make. A Tiny Mite 2 is on Chaotic's wish list, and he for sure got the Canadian answer right. So, Chaotic, I hope you get that Tiny Mite 2, and when you do, let me know how you like it. Enjoy this scoop. And last up, the grand prize. The Dynavap Omni, a full titanium unit, a hot and heavy hitter, one of the most unique Dynavap experiences. Let's give this a start and see who wins. Drum roll. Dyna Toker. Oh man, it looks like you were the fitting one for this Dynavap Omni because your comment was hashtag giving tree. That Omni would be awesome. Congrats for a thousand subs. Thanks, bud. And you know what? Luck on you. I hope you enjoy it. And thanks to all the viewers. If you want one of these wonderful devices, keep an eye for a reach out from us on the original comment to the giveaway video. You have seven days to respond. If we don't hear from you in seven days, we are going to re-roll this giveaway. So thanks for watching and stay lifted.